everyone, welcome back to my channel today. Today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys my December favorites. So I will also be doing best in beauty. So I know a lot of people have a tendency to not do December favorites and then go right into best in beauty, but I have some favorites that I've just had for just like a couple weeks now through the month of December that I wanna share with you guys. And then I'll be doing best in beauty later on. So I'm really excited for that one. But before we get into my favorites for the month of December, if you guys are brand new, hello, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and then also hit the little bell so that way you can turn the notifications on so you can get notified for future videos. Now let's go ahead and get on into my December favorites. Yes. All right, so the first favorite that I have this month is one that I just showed in my P.O. Box haul and I've been using it nonstop, you guys. It is so good. This is the Tarte um, Double Duty Contour and Highlight Palette. I haven't heard anyone talk about this. I was just roaming through Ulta because whenever I have to go pick up stuff to like restock, I tend to just roam through the aisles and kind of see, is there anything new out that I didn't know about? And this is what I saw and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So this is their contour palette and I really love the formulation of the bronzer. It's really creamy and soft. It feels so good. It blends out really nicely on the skin. I love the fact that it's a cool tone bronzer so it works really well with my skin tone. So it just is amazing, I really like it. The highlight is very subtle. I wish the highlight had a little bit more of a oomph to it, but I think it's just fine, especially like say if you really don't want like a boom highlight, because there are some more people out there that kind of like the more subtle rather than like boom in your face highlight. So I think that's a good highlight to go to if that's what you're looking for. But I really love this just for the bronzer because it's amazing. So yeah, really nice, really creamy. Definitely go swatch it in Ulta, you guys, and I guarantee you, you'll fall in love with it too. All right, so next up I have a blush palette that I've been loving, and this is the Becca Blush with Light Blush Trio, and it comes with Wisteria, Songbird, and Snapdragon. So I actually have Snapdragon and Songbird in their full size, but I really love the palette, and I have to say one of my favorite colors is Wisteria. This is Wisteria right here. I like it how it has so many different shades that just works for so many different looks. So depending on the look that I'm doing that day, I can go to either one of these shades. I really love Wisteria. It's a gorgeous, like, cool tone rose shade. Look at that, that one's so pretty. And then also um, Songbird is more of a like apricot shade and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. And then you have Snapdragon, which is more of a warmer pink. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Orgasm from NARS because it has that shift of gold in it and that shimmer. So those are really, really pretty. I really like these for traveling. Right now, I'm going so much like back and forth with LA. So I leave a lot of my go-to makeup in a makeup bag. I don't even unpack it anymore because it just doesn't seem worth it. And I'm always worried that I'm gonna forget something. So I'm like, if I leave everything in this bag, I'm never like not going to forget anything. So this has been like one of my go-to palettes lately. All right, so next up, I had this product for a while and we were doing like our product review, like we were doing a meeting with Ipsy and um, Lynette Sene, if you guys know her, she's also an Ipsy stylist. I will have her channel link down below if you guys wanna go check her out. She is absolutely gorgeous, she's so sweet. I love her like aesthetic and style and she was raving about the Juice Beauty stuff, you guys. I haven't tried their foundation because they sent that to me, but the one they sent to me is like way too dark. Um, but I went ahead and tried their illuminating primer because she was raving about this and their foundation. So I'm like, oh, okay, well I can't use the foundation, but I can try the primer out because I have it. So I've been using this non-stop, you guys, and it is amazing. It is so nice on the skin. And they have a lot of, she was telling me that they have a lot of good ingredients. Like nothing is going to break your skin out. So I was like, I really have to try this. And I have really been like, I've been using this primer nonstop, you guys. It's so luxurious. It's a glass and then also has a pump on it. But yeah, you guys love, I'm loving this primer. I haven't really heard anyone talk about it too. And I've had it but I never tried it. And then when she was like raving about it, I was like, oh my God, okay, now I have to try this. So yeah, like it. All right, so next up I have a lip product here and this one is also from Tarte. I've been really loving Tarte lately. And this is the Tarte Lip Sculptor in Kitten. So this came in their little like Kissing Squad set that I got. And I love this shade, you guys. This shade of nude is like perfect. 
I love it. It's like a medium, like rosy brown nude. Really gorgeous, and I just love the tone that it has, and it also comes with a gloss on the other side. These are some of my favorite lipsticks, you guys. They're so comfortable to wear. So what I do is I use a darker lip liner, and then I go through and put the lipstick on, and I kind of like run my finger over everything so that way it blends and there's no lines or anything. And then I take the gloss and I focus it on the center of the lips and it makes my lips look so much fuller and bigger. I have even been getting like comments saying like, did you get lip fillers and stuff? And I'm like, no. And I even had other people like go and comment like, they look natural. There's no way those are lip fillers. I'm like, yeah, I don't get lip fillers. I have all natural lips and um, I think I get them for my mom. My mom has really big lips too, so yeah. That's what, that's like a little trick. If you want your lips to look bigger, put a little bit of a gloss on the center and it will make them look fuller. And also, glossy finished lip products are gonna make your lips look even bigger. So if you notice like the girls that have even lip fillers, their lips look even bigger when they put on glossy finishes. So it's, it's crazy what a glossy finished lip product can do. All right, so I have another product from Becca here that I've been loving this month. I got this in the Sephora BIB Cell, BIB Cell Haul, I believe. And this is the Shadow and Light. I don't even know if I've talked about this before, you guys. But this has been like one of my go-to like shimmer bronzers. I like that other bronzer for like kind of contouring because it's, you know, it's a matte bronzer. It's easier to contour with. But this one I love just to warm up the skin and just dust over the face. And this is the, yeah, shadow and light bronzer. It is so pretty. It reminds me a ton of the It Cosmetics CC Plus Ombre Bronzer that I love. So, yeah. I just think this is gorgeous. So I've been using, oh my God, you guys, I've used, like there's a pretty big indent in this thing. I've used this a ton. So this is just absolutely stunning. I really love the tone that it has for my skin and it just really warms up the face. So I really love this. Honestly, Becca products are awesome. Yeah, definitely check this out. All right, so next up I have a product from Drunk Elephant and it's a little dirty. This is the Drunk Elephant Lippy. So they actually sent this to me a while ago and I'm almost out, you guys. I'm so sad. This is my go-to lip balm. I'm obsessed with it right now. Like as you can see, I ran out of it pretty quickly. It makes my lips feel so good and I just love how big it is. So I'm just like, oh. it feels like I'm running like a glue stick or something like, you know, over my lips and it just feels so good. So. Yeah, definitely going to get another one of these. I remember like I was dying to try this out and then they reached out to me and I was like, yeah, I would love to try out your lippy product. And they sent it to me and now I'm like, I'm hooked. I'm hooked, you guys. I'm so hooked on this thing. So definitely recommend trying this out. I also really love like, you know, like the pot ones, like this one from Pharmacy, which is basically almost gone as well. But the only thing that gets me with the pots is that I have nails and it just really sucks having to dig in there. I love lip balms like this where they're really hydrating but they're in a stick form. So yeah, I really like this. <laughs> All right, so last up in the makeup department are some lashes and I actually picked these up not too long ago and I'm obsessed. I'm wearing them today. They are so pretty, you guys. These are the Eyler Texture Multi-Pack, so they come in a pack of three. I've never even seen these before, and I found them at Ulta. They're lightweight, reusable, and they really truly are lightweight. I don't even feel like I have them on my eyes. Like, there's times where I'll just, there's eyelashes all over my house, all over the car, all over my apartment in LA. I just like, you know, they start weighing down, they get tired, and I just take them off and I set them somewhere. These truly don't feel like I have anything on my eyes. I really, really like them, highly recommend them. Also, I just wanna shout out my friend Nikki Philippi, who just did a collaboration with Eyler. I am going on a hunt, you guys. I'm gonna go find her lashes and I'm gonna go like stock up because I got to see them beforehand, like to see like what they were gonna look like. And they look gorgeous, you guys. I'll have a picture like pop up, but yeah, definitely go check them out. I think they're sold at Walgreens. So I'm going to be going on a hunt to try to find them and I will like snap them for you guys, but I'm so excited for her. So congratulations to Nikki, but yeah, definitely. I'm loving like Eyelore products though. So I'm really excited to try out her lashes. All right. So now let's go ahead and get into like kind of like the random favorites and here's my dorkiness, you guys. And one of my favorites this month has been my game on Nintendo 3DS XL. Yeah, see it? It's blue. I wish I could have got the pink one, but they're all sold out. But 
It's not the system, it's the game. And the game that I'm obsessed with is Pokemon Sun. I know, I love the Pokemon games, you guys. I play, I haven't played them all because I've really slacked off the past few years, but as a kid, I had them all. I caught them all. I did it all. I had Mew, I had Mewtwo. I had stuff that you like weren't able to get unless you were in Japan. I don't know how I got those, but yeah, I love the Pokemon games and I'm obsessed with Sun. I, right now, it's like I'm having a hard time finding time to sit down and play it, but when I do, I'm like hooked on it. And it's so good. It's so different than all the other games. They finally switched this up and I really like the spin that they took on it to where it's not like badges and like going to different gyms and battling. It's something completely different and new and it just makes you feel like it's not like, you know, like the other games, I'd beat them like that. I would beat them in a day because I'm like, boom, 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 got it. But this one I'm like actually like savoring because it's so different. So I think I'm definitely gonna go get Moon after this, but I've been really enjoying it and it's mainly because it's something different in the Pokemon like saga that has gone on since I was a kid and it's really good. So if you guys are a Pokemon lover and you really love the games, definitely check out the new ones, Sun and Moon, because they're so different and they're so good really love them. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into my show favorite. So I haven't done these in a while because I honestly haven't had that much of a time to sit and watch like Netflix or Hulu or anything. But um, I also kind of forget to mention them too. But what's crazy is like when I go to LA, that's all I can really do in my downtime is either edit or watch Netflix. So I've been watching Netflix and Hulu quite a bit and I have a little list of ones that I've been loving. So the first one I want to talk about is Freakish. And I forgot to mention this a couple months ago when it first released. You guys, I watched the entire season in one Day. I was addicted. I was so surprised. It's on Hulu. It has Megan Rink, Rinks or Rinks, Rinks. I think it's Rinks. It has her in it, and then it also has a lot of other actors that you guys have probably seen around. It has the one girl. I forgot what her name is, but I remember it was Claire and Degrassi. And I was like, whoa. So I honestly didn't have that highest hopes for it, and I didn't think it was going to be a zombie like thing either. But as I watched it, I got more and more hooked in it. And I was so sad when it ended. I was like, no, I need more episodes. I kept checking. I was like, there's there's no way this ended. Like, there's just no way. There's got to be more episodes coming. So I cannot wait until they come back. I hope they come back. But I really love the show, you guys. It is awesome. Go check it out. It's on Hulu. It was awesome. Another show that I love that I watched in a whole day was Fuller House. We all love Fuller House. I mean, hello. If you grew up in like the 80s and the 90s, you knew Full House. And yeah, so that was awesome. It was a great season too. I absolutely loved it. I just wish that, you know, one of the Olsen twins would come back. And I love the little like hidden messages they do. They're like, yeah, come back. It would be fun. Like, do you guys know those? Yeah, I really wish they would come back, but the show is awesome. I love how family oriented it is, and it's just a good downright show. So I really love that. I watched that in a full day too. And then the next show that is really funny, because I always go back to these like shows whenever I'm feeling like a little nostalgic and I'm like, I just want to feel like a kid again. And the show that I watched, like, oh my God, I can't believe I watched all these was One Tree Hill. I don't know if you guys remember One Tree Hill, but I think that was in middle school and high school for me. And I watched all of it, all the way up to like college, I believe. That show was on for a long time. I think there was like 10 seasons or something like that. I'm not even sure. But I rewatched all of them and it was so good. And I was so bummed when I got to the end. I forgot how good of a show that was. It was, it was amazing. So yeah. Really love One Tree Hill too. I it's like the same thing that I do with the OC. I go and watch. I've watched the OC so many times, like over and over again. I need to find other like old shows to like rewatch. But yeah, One Tree Hill was amazing. Highly recommend that. They have the entire series on Netflix. I love it. All right, so my last favorite that I have, and a lot of you guys have seen him, is little Ollie. Look at how cute he is. Oh, puppy. Oh, he's so cute. You guys, look at how little he is. He's so tiny. So I was in LA Sunday and Monday, and I got back Monday night, and Joel went and looked at 
a litter of Maltese puppies and he ended up picking up Ollie and he surprised me with it when I got home. And it was really funny because I actually wanted to name him Olaf. And Joel's like, no, Ollie. Because Elsa and Olaf, he's like, they just don't flow together. So he's like, Ollie. So that's why we we're calling him Ollie, which is still really cute. But he is such a love, you guys. He's only two and a half pounds. He's super small. I think he's only going to be about six pounds. So he's going to be smaller than Elsa. Elsa is about, she's a little chunky monkey right now. She's about nine pounds. She should be eight, eight and a half. So yeah. <laughs> We're working on that. Yeah, he's been a great little addition to the household. We got him because what we've been told is that a boy is gonna really calm Elsa down because Elsa is a little bit hyper and a little crazy. <laughs> so we we're hoping that he would calm her down, but he's been so good, you guys. He's such, he's so timid and you just put him in your arms and he just lays there. Like he just likes to be with you. He's really lovable. He's way more lovable than Elsa was at this age. Like he's already like basically sleeping on my lap right now. Hang on, let me get him. But yeah, he is so lovable, you guys. He's such an angel, aren't you, Bubby? You see that little face? But Elsa's kind of handling him pretty well. She's playing with him. She doesn't nip. She's really good with him, but she's also pretty annoyed of him because she's like, wait, I used to have all the attention and now we're like really working on balancing everything out and still giving her a ton of attention and giving him just kind of like ease it into it. But of course, if you're like the baby of the household and something else comes in, you're gonna be a little jealous. So she's not too fond of me right now, <laughs> but um, she's getting better. I know she was a lot better today, but yeah, so little Ollie. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my December favorites. Leave me a comment down below what you are loving for the month of December. Also let me know what you guys did for Christmas time and all that fun stuff. I will always love to hear what you guys did over the holidays. And yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Right, right Ollie? Don't forget to subscribe. No. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, NARS for Mac. No, NARS for Mac, that does not work. It kind of reminds me a little bit of her out. She is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. <coughs> you guys, I watched the entire little series in, not 